Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today I'm going to show you a second video on how to get on and off a sun lounger. If you've watched my other video you'll have seen how much fun I had getting off a really low difficult sun lounger. This one is a lot more normal, a lot more stable and the height of it is, is much better. It's made of, made of metal, probably a lot more like the sort of sun lounger you're going to find if you go on holiday or go and lay by a pool or whatever. So um, the last video was very popular and I figured this one uh, may show you something else. So. What I'm going to show you then is the best way that I, I see in getting on and off this and first thing I'm going to do is line up my wheelchair at a bit of an angle. I hope this all comes out in the video. I'll put it in the best place, place possible, best position to show this. So you can see here before I set up, I've got to get myself clear of this. I don't want to be landing on that. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I'm going to transfer so, somewhere towards the front of the chair. So first up, try and put your casters forwards if you can, this gives you more stability in the chair. And don't try and put your chair too parallel to the bed. Don't try and set your chair up in that direction. Try and set it up so you're kind of pointed towards it. The reason for that is if you're if you're too side on, you kind of got, you get yourself over your side guard, over your wheels to start with. Whereas if you're like this, you can shuffle to the front of the chair and uh, you're kind of ready to go then. You've, you've not got anything really to clear, so it's just a, an easy bum transfer just to swing around and over. So shuffle to the front of the chair, put your feet on the floor. Now your feet positioning is kind of crucial, same with all transfers really. What you want to try and do is tip your feet in the direction you want them to end up. So um, it's, you're obviously never going to get them absolutely where you want them to finish, but somewhere in between is cool. So I'm just trying to turn my feet slightly that way and I want them underneath me in the transfer. That's going to give me stability, it's going to take the load off my arms and shoulders and I'm gonna now grab here at the front of the chair, making sure that I don't do my usual and grip half my trousers and get stuck as I'm going across. So, um, taking a grip here at the front of the frame, just on the front corner of the cushion, this hand, so that's nice and stable. Cast us forwards. Uh, you can either make a fist with this hand or go flat-handed, it just kind of depends what you're transferring onto. Um, I can quite comfortably go flat-handed on this, but I'll do it with a fist just to show you. Gives you more lift using a fist. And then all you're gonna do, you're gonna rock forward, Get your head down, your bum will come up, and this is where you want your feet underneath you, hence why I've got them there. And what I'm gonna do is just rock forward, up and over. I'm doing it nice and slowly to show you. It really was very little load on my arms there because my feet were taking the load and putting it through my legs. Just keep your head down, your bum will come up, it's no problem at all. And then from there, you can just flick your legs on, take your shoes off if you want, and shuffle back in the chair. Best way to shuffle back, actually, is to bring your feet on the chair, get slightly cross-legged, and just use the hand and just shuffle backwards like that. And then you're there, ready to catch some rays. And then getting back up again, sometimes I've moved the chair out of the way, or quite often I have actually, so I'll, I'll do it as if I'm doing this. So, shuffle forwards again, get myself clear of these um, arm rests, pop my legs off, shuffle over, get myself towards the edge of the chair, kind of in the position I landed anyway from the transfer onto the, onto the uh, sun lounger. I'm gonna bring the chair up. I'm gonna lock it in position. That cast is kind of floating. Um, they don't have to be forwards, to be honest. Most, it's not gonna cause me an issue on this one. Um, one thing I find really annoying, actually, is this leg tries to dig into the, uh, the front of the frame here. I find that quite a lot on transfers, so it's kind of overcoming that to start with by getting your knee that little bit further forward. Sometimes I even use my thumb just to keep my knee off. And again, you can either go flat-handed on the on the bed or a fist. Fist gives you more height. Um, I sometimes leave my thumb out, gives you that little bit of extra stability as well. You get great stability from having your hand flat. You've got a lot of control in the air. Um, so I'm going to do this hand flat just to just to show you it can be done. Again, holding the same place I did when I transferred down. My feet are as underneath me as I can. It's not always possible to get this into an ideal position but at least I know they're underneath me, so when I transfer forward, I can put my load onto them. And again, I'll do this nice and slowly, so you can see that you know it's all under control, it's not just a quick launch. And I'm gonna lean forward, up, and around, and we're into the chair. And it is that straightforward. As I say, with all transfers, it's all about using your legs. I know they don't work, they don't, can't feel them, can't feel what's going on, but if you can get your load over your legs, they will take at least half your body weight, and it really takes the pressure off your arms. Um, that's the kind of key to transfers and uh, yeah I don't think there's much more to it I think that is you know, a good demonstration of how I can do it how it's done um, yeah 
hope that helps and uh, check out my other video if you haven't it's kind of quite funny you can see me struggling to get off the other sun lounger but it is about this low so uh, and it folds up on me in all sorts um, yeah hope that's hope that's good hope that helps someone uh, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching see you soon